I'm going to get straight to it. The more we think we know, the more we realize to a certain degree we don't know anything. Because the rabbit hole gets much deeper. What we think we know, we might not fully know while on a self journey of awareness and trying to understand who we are and why we are here. You know, at first, and not necessarily, I used to look at a lot of things as mere fantasy, but at the same time, I always had a strong, you know, belief, and I try to be politi politically correct as much as I can have a strong belief in more than what we see on an everyday basis, you know, repeating cycles and things of that such. Even as much as I am going to speak about certain things, different topics, etc., one of the primary on this particular channel it's monitoring spirits and targeted individuals, etc. And again, if you've been a supporter since day one, at this point, I'm not even going to even worry about any haters, even though I never really worried about them much. But a person can only do to you what you allow them to do. What's overstood don't have to be explained. See, energy is real, meaning you can feel energy. In some, in some, some certain aspects, you can taste energy. It would be a nasty taste in the air. It's a tasteful taste in the air. So that's why it's very important for you to protect your energy and be careful of the people that you surround yourself around. See, a lot of us don't put it in our brains, especially if you out plugged in into the world. We all may get to points where we're like partying and maybe even being around family and close associates, you know what I'm saying? We we tend to forget things. We tend to forget that this world is beyond flesh. You know? Even myself, I get mad and upset when I'm being monitored sometimes and it just it gets annoying. Then that little voice comes into my head and says, it's all a part of the ascension process. You know? You chose this. No, no, I don't need to get too deep into that. And yes, I am talking to you. See, the biggest fear of the enemy is you awakening to how powerful that you really are. See, they watch individuals, especially like myself, Speaking of being a heavily watched individual because they know what I don't think they know. You know, there are individuals, and excuse me if I'm pausing because sometimes I hear all type of stuff, I'll be trying to stay on point. Last time I ran into a skunk and all kind of stuff. Sometimes I'll be, I be out and about and moving around and in certain little areas, you be having little skunks and different little stuff moving around. But anyway, I won't get sidetracked much.
And I feel like everything too is a big distraction on becoming who you are here to become, you know, because it's already written anyway. I just heard too that I may make a, you know, a vid on the thing called Destiny Swipers. Again, like this knowledge is, is infinite. You know, you never stop learning. Even if you considered yourself or you are, you know, a monk, a ascended master, a, you know, a philosopher, anything that you want to label yourself or others label you as a. <clears throat> enlightened individual see you can push you can speak peace and, and, and talk about bringing humanity together in unity and you still gonna have people that's gonna hate on you you can speak positivity and you and you still gonna have people that's gonna hate on you you can say nothing at all and you still gonna have people that hate on you especially if you're a part of those ones I don't have to get so deep into that because when you know you're a part of that, you already know this. You know, they make excuses to make things racial and make this, that, and you know, a lot of these things is to keep humanity in general, not just humanity, but certain individuals separated. Because at the end of the day, love is always the ultimate key and being your authentic self being who you are regardless of what the world think of you or what other people think of you or who don't like you if you're not tall enough or you too short or you too big or you too skinny or you know it's, it's never good enough in this world everyone wants to judge one another while vibrating on a low frequency you know just doing the basic things and not realizing that it takes much less energy to actually care about a person. And if you don't get along with an individual or a person or you don't have, you don't necessarily believe in what another person believe, everyone is have the right to their opinion, you know, but like I said, there's no such thing as freedom of speech. You're free to speak, but doesn't mean you're not gonna it's not gonna come with a lot of backlash and hatred. See, like I said, I don't even worry about the hateful ones anymore. And again, not like I used to, but I used to let it get to me so much, so much, so much. Because being on this particular journey, I've realized like everything is being recorded you know what i'm saying from the smallest degree and i'm not going to keep repeating certain things but like i said there's all kind of sky vehicles you know what i'm saying some earthly some may not be if you catch my drift you know we are living in a, a ending to a new beginning you know <clears throat> so you really have to just have an overstanding of keep seeking and keep seeking if you still got answers keep seeking keep seeking because all the questions is inside of you anyways but you have to you know connect with the universe so you can get the right clues you know Look at everything as a clue and make it make sense. Synchronicities, etc. Et so when you speak in certain ways, you know, at the end of the day, it just made more legions flock to me. But me having a overconfident level to, to know and really feel like I'm not one to be messed with. You're not one to be messed with. You are protected as much as you are in danger. Remember when you were a kid and your mother always told you not to talk to strangers. You know, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. 
you know, <clears throat> red and blue, good versus evil, yin and yang. You are not alone, you've never been alone, and you never will be alone. But when you are alone in a physical sense, that's when you get to know and have a very personal conversation with God. When you take time to get away from everybody and try your best not to be distracted, <clears throat> even though, you know, especially if you're a part of those real ones, people going to pop up out of nowhere anyways or anywhere you go if you have that certain type of glow that certain type of light you know they're going to be on you like flies on shh you know like white on rice you know just bear with me on this video you know cuz it's a lot on my mind and it's a lot I'm still learning. And I'm hoping I'm teaching a lot as much as I'm learning because I can learn from a baby. You can learn from a baby. You can learn from an animal. You can learn from the earth. You never stop learning as much as you are a teacher for the real ones that ascended to be masters. Or already and beyond. You can't care about what other people think about you, whether they don't believe in your vision or they think you crazy or whatever. Don't worry about what others think about you. You know, be your authentic self. Keep doing what you have to do. Do what makes you feel right and always follow your first mind through your first eye. I ain't never ever said I was perfect, ever. I've never said not one time I was perfect. I probably did all kind of different stuff that I'm not proud of. I probably still have certain things to work on. Not probably, I do, but one thing I know for sure, I ain't never did no super weird stuff to no point where I'm gonna be, you know, have to worry about certain things, you know? It's just, I you. You know better, when they say you know better, you should do better. That's what I'm meaning. Like, I know I shouldn't eat this certain type of food, but I ate it anyway. I know I shouldn't probably be thinking this type of way towards this woman or whatever. You know, I'm proud of myself. I've overcame a lot, but, you know, I know I still have certain things to work on just as well as you do. None of us are perfect. Remember, even certain gods went to war with each other. And it still continues. Species, humans, etc. You know? So if we were meant to live in a perfect, you know, what they call reality on this earth, I think that will be happening. And as we experience and know, that's not what's going on in this illusion. In this reptilian, you know, system. But for them real ones that's anointed, they know. Them demons, they, oh, they, they already know it, you know. Them certain ones, they know. They can feel who called and they can feel who's chosen. You know, a lot of people use that word loosely. A lot of that come with burdens, barriers, you know, a lot of dark nights, a lot of early awakenings, because there's nothing good in mourning. But I, I ain't gonna drag this video too much longer. Like, comment, and subscribe, share, turn on your post notifications if you like what you hear. But yeah, share, do all that good stuff. You know, be your authentic self. Because just when you thought you know it all, you realize you don't know nothing.
continue searching. Strong message.